We are the students of class 8. Today we are going to conduct the social science club enrichment activity. Topic is agriculture. Agriculture or farming is the practice of cultivating plants and livestock. Agriculture was the key development in the rise of sedentary human civilization, whereby farming of domesticated species created life in the cities. The history of agriculture began thousands of years ago. Summary. Slash and bone cultivation, nomadic herding, intensive species farming, promotion farming, eucalyptus, and this farm. Hi, I am Agnes and I am going here to explain the types of farming. First, what is farming? Farming is practiced various across the world depending upon the geographical condition, labor, and development technology. And it can be classified into two types that is, substance farming and commercial farming. And the substance farming is divided into two types, that is primitive substance and intensive substance. Then primitive is divided into two types, that is shifting cultivation and nomadic farming. Now we are going to the second types of farming, that is commercial farming. And it can be divided into three types, that is mixed farming, plantation and commercial grain farming. I am Ashley Marie Uchu from Class 8. We are going to explain different forms of agriculture. They are sericulture, horticulture, physiculture and viticulture. The first one is horticulture. The cultivation of fruits, flowers and vegetables for economic sale is called horticulture. For example, apple, pineapple, pitchi, cabbage, potato peas, etc. are some horticulture crops grown in India. The horticulture crops are mostly grown in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Sikkim. Thank you. Hi, I am Devanda of Class A. I am here to explain about sericulture. Sericulture is the rearing of silkworm and extracting silk from them. Silk is a fiber which is made up of two proteins, sericin and fibroid. Sericulture has become an important cottage industry in countries such as France, India, Japan, Italy and Korea. Now China and India are the two main producers. Next is the life cycle of a silkworm. Life cycle of silkworm includes four stages, egg, larva, pupa and adulthood. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Mary Smith and I'm here to explain pisciculture. The breeding, clearing and transplantation of fish by artificial means is called pisciculture. In other words, fish farming. Pisciculture is just culturing of fish or fish farming to obtain fish products. Pisciculture provides us fish for food, cod liver oil, etc. The most important species produced in fish farming are crab, catfish, salmon and tilapia. And I'm going to explain here with the life cycle. It has five stages. Adult fish, eggs, embryo, larva, and joint fish. Thank you. Hello, I'm Junia Rezidon of Great Day. Today I'm here to speak about Mutti Kalsa. Mutti Kalsa is a cultivation of fruits. It is commonly cultivated in a few regions of southern France, Maharashtra, Pune, Bangalore, etc. The example of Mutti Kalsa is grapes. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Vinina Sarapachi from a -Tex. So today I am going to explain about agricultural practices. First one is crops. When plants of the same kind of uh, cultivated at one place on a larger scale, it is called a crop. There are two types of crops, carrot crops and rabi crops. First one is carrot crops. The crops which are sown in rainy season are called carrot crops. For example, paddy trees. Second one is rabi crops. The crops sown in winter season are called rabi crops. For example, pea crop. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Tanya Isu from class 8 and I am going to explain basic practices of crop production. Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by a farmer over a period of time. These activities is also known as agricultural practices. The several agricultural practices are the first one, preparation of soil. Preparation of soil is one of the important steps before growing a crop. The important task in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it. This allows the root to penetrate deep into the soil. The soil, soil, the loose soil allows the root to breathe easily. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called ploughing. The second one is soil. Soil is an important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality, clean and healthy seeds are selected. Farmers prefer to use seed which give high yield. The tools for use for sowing are traditional soil and seed drill. The third one is adding manure and fertilizer. The substance which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plant are called manure or fertilizer. Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal leaves. The use of fertilizer has helped the farmer to get better yield. Another way of replenishing the soil is nutrients is through crop rotation. The fourth one is irrigation. The supply of water to the crop at regular intervals is called irrigation. The time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop, soil to soil, season to season. 
traditional methods of irrigation are mod, chain pump. Modern methods of irrigation are drip system. The fifth one is protection from weeds. In the field, many other unreserved plants may grow naturally along with the crop. These unreserved plants are called weeds. Weeds are also colored by using certain chemical called weedicide. The sixth one is harvesting. Harvesting of a crop is an important task. The cutting of the crop after it measure is called harvesting. In a harvest crop, the grain seeds need to be separated from the shaft. The process is called threshing. Farmer with a small holding of land of the separation of grains and shaft by vinoid. Last but not the least, the last one is storage. If the harvest grains are to be kept for longer time, they should be safe from moisture, insect, rats and microorganisms. Harvest grains have been more moisture. Farmers store grains in the jute bags or metallic things. Large scale storage of grains is done by silos and rabbits. Thank you. Hi, I am Elizabeth Maria Vijay. I am going to be introducing the modern farming system. What is modern farming system? The word modern farming means new technologies, techniques, and science of our production. What is modern farming system? Aeroponics is the process of growing plants in air or means environment without soil or an agar great medium. It is a subset of hydroponics since what is used in aeroponics to transmit nutrients. Next, aquaponics model coming system. Aquaponics is a food production system that covers aquaculture, raising aquatic animals such as fish, fish, snake or ground in tanks with, with hydroponics. Cultivation plants in water, whereby the nutrients rich aquaculture water is fed by hydroponically grow plants. Next, hydroponics modern farming system. Mm -hmm. Hydroponics is also called aquaculture, nutriculture, soilless culture, or tank farming. The cultivation of plants in nutri nutrient enriched water with all, without the mechanical support of an intermediate such as sand, gravel, or feather. Monoculture modern farming system. Monocul monoculture farming is a type of farming where one single form of crop is grown in a large field of land. Monoculture is a technique of raising, raising only one genetically integrated crop in species in plants at a time. Additionally, it is involved in farming or agriculture production with a method that is called, used all at once. Thank you. Hi, I'm Heba Susan Shaji of Class 8S. Today, I will be explaining the difference between the farm system in India and US. The average size of a farm in India is comparatively smaller compared to that of the United States of America. Farmers in India use traditional methods like bullocks. Meanwhile, American farmers use mechanized tools such as tractors and threshers. The inputs for farming are machinery, seeds, and chemicals. The processes are plowing, sowing, and spraying. And finally, we get the outputs, which is crops. Agriculture is a process not done by everyone, but is very crucial for our survival. With this, we, the students of Class 8S, will be concluding our social club activity. Thank you.